Okay, now we have um, some rectangles. We are talking about parallelograms. And a parallelogram is any four-sided figure where the opposite sides are parallel. And we usually indicate that, indicate that they're parallel like this. These two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel. But we have lots of different ways of getting para uh, parallelograms as well. A rhomb is also a sort of parallelogram. It has four sides, like a parallelogram. The opposite sides are parallel, as we can see here. But a rhomb has that all of the lengths are identical. And then this question is wondering what happens when we are to draw a diagonal from the two corners of our rhomb. Here we have a rectangle. We have four sides. There are four right angles, but the sides aren't necessarily the same length. So we can make a, the diagonals here. We're going to investigate what happens when we make these diagonals for a rectangle. And we also have a square. A square is also a form of a parallelogram. Four sides, four right angles, and four identical lengths. Notice that it hasn't said that the length of the sides in the rectangle have to be different. So a square is also a form of a rectangle. So let's draw the diagonals here as well, in our square. And the first thing they want us to say is, which of these diagonals cross at right angles? And you have to draw a different, a different rhomb, a different rectangle, and a different square, very neatly and accurately in your book, on your square paper, using the corners. And then look at the angles. And you'll be able to see that for the rhomb, the angle here when you measure it with your protractor will be 90 degrees. And the angle here for your square, going from this diagonal to this diagonal, they'll meet in the middle at a 90 degree uh, perpendicular. But in a rectangle, this angle will be greater than 90 degrees where the, the length is longer. And where the side is shorter, the angle here will be less than 90 degrees. So there are only two of our shapes that will cross, the diagonals will cross at an angle of 90 degrees. It will be our rhomb and our square. And the next question is, where do these diagonals cross at the middle point of the shape? Well, all of them cross at the middle point of the shape. Okay, so these diagonals are indicating the middle point of a shape in a parallelogram. And that's the way to answer that question.